Expressions in Black on KGW is a sponsored presentation from Heart and Hustle Productions. Growing up in New York, this is a 180 degree flip. I didn't even drink before I started making wine. I looked around and it was like, I got grapes. If it don't work out, I'm gonna make raisins. It's a lot of hard work, but every day you're reminded that you're blessed. When I'm out here, it definitely brings a, a balance. This is where all of my creative, amazing ideas come from. Especially when you own the business, run the business, make the wine. There's so many moving pieces. This is my getaway, this is my escape. My name is Bertoni Faustin, and this is The Crick Life. <laughs> when I first got the property, part of it was still forest. So I'm limited to the amount of sunlight that we get. But that same challenge is actually also my benefit. Bertoni is the hardest worker I ever met. You will always find him somewhere standing out, somewhere being different, somewhere that you won't find people who look like him. And so that's what a trailblazer essentially is. This is our largest block of grapes here. Everything is still a little bit dormant. He's the first black winemaker in Oregon and to be looking different and to be different I mean, that environment says a lot about him. Customers would come into the winery and ask, you know, who's the winemaker? And when I say me, I'll get the glance like, oh, it was the industry that said I didn't look the part. And so those are those, those little moments that, you know, made me decide that, you know what, I have to go ahead and be that pioneer and trailblazer. People ask me, why'd you name it Abbey Creek? And Ivy Creek is actually running through our property. And even our logo, actually, it's river rock with the uh, water flowing through it. So the hip hop, wine and chill, that's the sentiment in that order as well. You know, growing up New York, 80s, 90s kid, hip hop is my thing. But those are the Haiti colors of the flag. Owning my heritage, owning who we are. My family's from Haiti, it's French. I'm actually named after my father. I didn't actually start using my government name until my father passed. But that's Pops. That's my reminder daily as I walk in the door of why we do what we do. It was that tragedy that has me here. It made me feel as if I wasn't living up to the legacy. And when I say that, I mean the immigrant hustle. So this here was a tribute wine that I made for my dad. This was me uh, acknowledging, owning, honoring what got me here today. So the same tragedy of my father passing brought a whole nother level of honor and pride for my heritage, who I am. I mean, some people will say I'm African-American. No, I'm Haitian-American. And the reason for that distinction is so that you could honor that other side of me as well. So you are officially at the Crick PDX. This is the only location that has this logo on the wall. I wanted the headphones to be the thing that made you chuckle at yourself instead of feeling like, oh, I'm at a winery and I need to act a certain kind of way. Crick PDX is another extension of the OG Crick in North Plains. So many people, you know, they were worried that we were gonna go try to fit in. No, we went to Crick PDX to stand out. When I talk about wines, uh, to me, it's not necessarily about the flavor profile, the character, it's, uh, it's about the, the context and how you want to enjoy the wine. So I actually hashtag all my wines because it's a feeling. For instance, the Cabernet Sauvignon, we call it the cha-cha. You know, you ever have those moments, you see food coming or something and you start to move in your seat. That's what the cha-cha does to you. We don't just sell wine. You could have got that at the gas station. 
The love, magic, and moments is the, you know how you walked into the door, but it's up to us how you leave. You got the cornbread I could just put right here so you can see what they got. So this is my man, Chef Earl Roberts. I call him Chef Homeboy RD. So my role here, pretty much culinary director. It's also an extension of what I currently do. I teach at Clark College. I teach culinary arts. You can eat with anyone, but you break bread with family. And that was the idea of the Crick Kitchen. Due to all of this COVID and being COVID compliance, we haven't been able to actually entertain on site. So what we thought about was doing a to-go model. We call it the Crick Fat Sacks. What's kind of dope as well about what we're doing here, because Chef has the direct pipeline to working with students, we want to turn this into sort of that incubator program, bringing youth and even adults and show them that this could be your opportunity. People of color in this industry for so long, you know, they're the backbones of the kitchen. I want to make sure that I see more people that look like me in this field. So Abbey Creek to me is the umbrella. The foundation is the vineyard that we have, the tasting rooms, the wineries, the experience, the kitchen. Simply, I, I call it the Crick life. You know, that is the me against myself sort of mentality and mantra. So many people ask me, why North Plains? Because I get to stand out. Where could I be the most impactful? Where you don't expect me to be. If I went to wine country, we would have never had the same kind of opportunities and the eyes on us that we do now. We are creating such a movement, but what can we do tomorrow? What can we do the next day? Abbey Creek is about the who, and more importantly, Abbey Creek is about you. This sponsored program on KGW has been a community presentation of Heart and Hustle Productions.